If you want some FIFA 23 coins, please check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a 5% discount. What's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I just wanted to start off this video by saying thank you guys for all of the support on yesterday's video. I know it was a bit of a rant and I'm sorry for that, but I'm also not sorry because I felt like it needed to be said. So thank you to everybody that, you know, showed me support on that video. I do really appreciate it. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you some tactics for the 4-3-3 and it is the second variant. So here you go, guys. I'm not going to drag it out. Out, we're just going to get straight on with it. So for defensive style, as always, I like to have this on balance because I like to press when I want to press and I like to drop off when I want to drop off. Having it on balance allows me to do just that. Now, because the 4-3-3 is a wider formation, I like to defend a little bit wider than I do in other formations like the 4-2-3-1. Uh, so for this reason, I have it on 43 because we have a bit more width in defense, uh, but it's also not too wide. Um, that people can just play straight down the middle. So I like to have it on 43 because it's still quite narrow, but also not too narrow. Now for depth, I like to have this on 65 because I feel like you can keep a high line on FIFA 23 uh, with lengthy center backs and things like that and the way pace works. So I like to have this on 65 because it helps me pin my opponent back a lot more. And yeah, I find it very beneficial. Obviously you can lower this or increase this, uh, whatever you want to do. For build up play guys, I like to have this on balance because again, I don't like fast build up too much on most formations. I don't like slow build up and I don't like long ball. Fast build up's okay depending on which formation you use, but I don't think it really suits the 4-3-3, so I just use balanced. Now for chance creation, as always, use direct passing because it is the only one which gives you movement. As I always say, look at the diagram in the bottom right corner. You can see all the white dots are constantly moving around. You don't get that with the other ones look so for example on balance they don't move really very static possession they move just in the wrong ways uh, they're not really helping you score forward runs they move but too far forward and you can get caught out so direct passing is the best now like I said because the 4-3-3 is a wide formation I have the width on 48 because it allows you to attack a little bit wider than you do in narrow formations but again it's also not so wide that it's impossible to build up any sort of attack so this gives you the nice balance that you need the players in box this is down to preference I like to have this on six some people like to have it on five some on seven I just have it on six because it gives me the nice balance sometimes when I'm winning I will lower this to five um, but yeah that's what I have this on now for corners and free kicks it's down to preference but at the moment I've just been having these on one uh, now, for the players you want to use, it is important that you understand the work rates on the players that you use. So for your, the, the most important part is your CM and your two centre mids as always. So your two centre mids, you want them to have very good attacking and defensive work rates. So Renato Sanchez is perfect because he has a high, high work rate, which means he can go up and down when it needs be. Now, Benesser is a high medium, but because we've got two other very good uh, midfield players, it's not as noticeable and he is still a very good player but you want to make sure your midfield is as good as possible preferably with a lot of high high work rates in the center mid spots and medium high in the CDM spot uh, same with left back and full back you want them to have at least a minimum of a medium defensive work rate high high is preferable of course so for example a Kyle Walker but again people like Hakimi and Hernandez are still very good at high medium for your wingers you obviously just mainly want them to have a high attacking work rate but if you can get them with a high defensive work rate as well that is great but the high attacking work rate is very important on your attacking players for your striker you want them to have either a high low or a medium low because I feel like they're the two best work rates for strikers um, or a high medium depending on what you like really it's a bit more flexible but yeah they're the kind of players you want to use in the positions for this formation now for the player instructions guys for all of the attackers I just leave them alone I feel like you restrict them too much if you you change them and giving them the freedom by not restricting them on the instructions actually benefits you a lot especially with direct passing because you get a lot more free-flowing uh, attacks so I like to just leave them alone honestly I don't really like putting them on specific instructions now for both center mids I, uh, uh, sorry for both center mids I just have them on cover center 
all right i don't put them on stay back while attacking uh or anything like that i just have them on cover center so they're always in those proper central positions so when people do try and play through the middle you always have players there to break up the play and obviously your wingers can help cover uh down the wings anyway so it's not that important now for my cdm i have stay back while attacking cut passing lanes and cover center because if you have like a proper cdm you don't really want them going forward because it's not what they specialize in i have patrick vieira who can attack but again he's still better at defending so cut passing lanes stay back while attacking cover center is perfect for your cdm now for your fullbacks this is down to preference you can either have them on balanced attack uh, and overlap which is very effective if you know what you're doing so then they will basically overlap your winger so you have extra players in attacks and you basically overload your opponent or if you want a more meta approach you can just put them on stay back while attacking and mixed attack so basically the default uh, and obviously you can manually use the d-pad to send them forward uh, but yeah these are the tactics that i've been using in division one at the moment we're very close to the elite division um, we're nearly there we were like one win off and then we ended up losing the game because i got tired uh, and bored so yeah we will get there eventually but when i can be bothered of course these tactics have been very good for me i've enjoyed using them a lot uh, please give them a go and let me know what you think about them but yeah that is everything for the video guys if you have enjoyed it i would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one and don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted and with all that aside guys i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i will catch you all later Peace.